I'm delighted to be able to participate in Bryn Mawr School's first ever uh, literary festival. What a fantastic idea to run your own festival in light of our current situation. And I see that you'll be listening to some very exciting and interesting guest speakers. So do make the most of this opportunity and get inspired to read and to write your very own pieces of literature. Reading is a skill that is fundamental in just about every aspect of our lives, from school to home and to the world of work. The last 12 months have been difficult and challenging, and this is a wonderful event for your school, bringing you and your community together to enjoy and to celebrate reading. I wish you all the very best during your fantastic literary festival. I've always loved reading since I was a very small child and um, I read really, really avidly at school. I read as many books as I could get my hands on and I think that prepared me quite well for uh, life because as a lawyer, which is what I was before I uh, joined the Senate, you need to be able to read an awful lot uh, and to read it very quickly. So that was a good skill and it's a good skill as a minister as well. Um, but it's really important to make time to read for fun as well and so I do that a lot and I belong to a book club where I get together with some friends and talk about the books we've been reading and that's fantastic. Well my favourite books probably are biographies um, of political figures so that's probably a little bit boring for a politician um, but I also love reading um, uh, short stories by a woman called Caris Davis who's Welsh and she lives in America and writes about all kinds of fantastic things um, and I love reading um, the works of a writer called Russell Shorto who writes historical books but they read like novels they're really colourful and really vivid uh, and so he's a fantastic read as well. There are probably lots of books that have influenced me uh, in life and um, so I normally give books away when I've read them, but there's quite a number of books that I've held on to because I uh, read them time and time again. And sometimes they're novels, sometimes they're um, other kinds of books. It's really important if you love a book uh, to realise that you don't need to just read it once. You can go back and read it time and again if you really love it. And I do that with probably 10 books that I read more, more than once. Uh, I have thought about writing my own novel, um, but it would be rubbish because I'm not a very uh, good creative writer. So I've never got to the stage of working out what it would be about. Um, but I do like the idea of um, maybe at some point in life sitting down and writing a book, whether that's a novel or maybe it's something else. I don't know yet, but I don't think my novel would be a very good read. But that's not a reason for you not to um, have that ambition yourself. Well, making sure that uh, all children and young people have a love of reading is a really important part uh, of the work that I do as Minister for Education. Literature allows us to explore our feelings, our thoughts, uh, our ideas, um, and reading, writing and creativity can make us feel good, help with our imagination and how we understand ourselves and the world around us. And so improving the literacy, sk literacy skills of learners in Wales is at the heart of our education system, really, and one of the main aims of the new Welsh curriculum is to ensure that all children, like yourselves, are able to read well and to enjoy books because reading, writing and also being able to speak well uh, are important skills that all of us need for every part of our lives really. So many of you uh, may know that we've developed a new curriculum for Wales as I was just saying and in the new curriculum literacy is one of the three uh, mandatory skills uh, which we have to ensure that learners um, competence continues to be a priority and something that we focus on for generations to come. Well, new horizons really can mean horizons in different parts of the world, um, new places to go to, but really what I think it means for me is uh, an opportunity to use your own imagination about what you can do in life. So never let somebody else limit what you feel that you can do in life. Always set yourself new goals and look towards your own horizons. Um, and by doing that, you can fulfil your potential. <laughs>